Also from Washington, at a congressional hearing, the Drug Enforcement Administration says it has seized about 57 million fentanyl pills so far this fiscal year. But as Shelly Garzone reports, that has done little to stem what has become one of the leading killers of young people. Everyone on the Committee of Homeland Security agrees there's a problem with fentanyl in the country, but disagrees on what to do about it. For Louisiana Republican Congressman Clay Higgins, the answer is obvious. As the flow of illegal immigrants continues to overwhelm Customs and Border Protection, it's inevitable that more and more drugs will slip through our defenses and into our country. But Democrats on the committee argued that migrants entering the country on foot make up a small percentage of people trafficking these drugs across the U.S. border. They said the solution goes beyond border security, a point echoed by a White House official. This problem does not start at our border, and it will not end at our border. And it is a national security and economic prosperity problem as much as it is a law enforcement and public health one. The CDC says fentanyl is a major cause of fatal and non-fatal overdoses in the U.S. And the group Families Against Fentanyl says it was the leading cause of death for adults ages 18 to 45 in 2021. Wherever it's coming from, one DEA official told the committee that drug cartels have a profit motive to keep the fentanyl coming. And George Papadopoulos said the DEA believes the cartels have another incentive as well. The cartels knew that there was uh, deadly fentanyl. Uh, the, the amount of fentanyl that they were sending to the U.S. was deadly because they tested it on human beings in Mexico, and they still sent it anyway. While the name of the hearing was fighting the flow of fentanyl from the southwest border, no solutions were presented in the almost two-hour hearing. In Washington, Shelley Garzone, Cronkite News. Wednesday's hearing opened the second part of a committee investigation into Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, who has been sharply criticized by House Republicans.